Welcome to the 2-Minute Drill with EnvisionTel, a video training series designed to educate our community on best practice applications for using our training solutions. Today we are going to focus on Enlightened CRM, which leverages the power and reach of Moodle, a popular learning management system for managing and deploying training content to a global audience, and Salesforce.com, the world's leading CRM as a service. Specifically, in the next two minutes, you're going to learn how to manage student access to training content in Moodle by setting account triggers in Salesforce.com. When Enlightened CRM is first set up to work with Salesforce.com, there are some custom fields and related lists created to help companies manage authentication and access for users. The first is the account learning path. Using the top level categories in Moodle, you can create custom training paths which define courses that you wish to allow certain students to see. In this example, we have a custom learning path called Product Certification. The other custom trigger to take note of is the field to the right called Subscription Purchased. By checking this field, we have told Salesforce.com that this customer has purchased a particular training library, so we need to grant instant access to this content to any new contacts that register on Moodle. In order for this automatic process to work, we will need to set one more trigger which I can access by scrolling down. We have created a related list associated to an account record called Approved Domains. This can be used as a filter to grant automatic access to any new contact that registers with an email address matching this approved domain. Scrolling down further, you can see that currently we have no contacts for this record. Let's take a look at the registration process and how we can easily authenticate new users. I'm going to create a new account using the approved domain listed in my account record by selecting Create New Account. I'm presented with a simple registration form, which needs to be filled in to complete registration. After completing the information in this form, I just need to click Create My New Account to proceed. After receiving some success messages, I'm automatically dropped back off at the home page. Two things will happen at this point. My registration information will be sent to Salesforce.com where, using my email address, Enlighten will check to see if I already have a contact record. If so, my record will be updated and my learning path will be set according to the trigger in my account record. If my contact record does not exist, then my email address will be compared against the approved domains in the system, and if mine exists, a new record will be created and added to the appropriate account. Looking back in Salesforce, let's see what has happened. First, I'll need to refresh the page so that I can see any changes. Once refreshed, we can see that a new contact has been added to my account record, matching the information that I just registered with in Moodle. If I select this contact, I'll be able to see additional information on them. Looking at the record, you'll notice some unique identifiers have been sent over that will allow us to keep data in Moodle synchronized with contact records in Salesforce. Most importantly, you can see that this contact has been assigned to the Product Certification Learning Path, which matches the account record. After scrolling down, you can see that Product Certification is listed in my Enrolled Courses Related List. As I complete courseware, this area will be updated with things like Complete, Date Completed, and even Grades. Additionally, we can keep track of different course elements, such as Quiz Attempts or Viewed Content. These related lists will be synchronized as my student completes various content within the course. Looking back at Moodle, once I log in as this new student, you'll see that they only have access to the courseware that has been purchased. And that's how we control user access to training content using Salesforce.com. Be sure to look for other two-minute drills from EnvisionTel to learn more about our solutions. Thank you for your participation, and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions.